Okay, so for this video, I am going to go through how to create an assessment in Alex, like a real test. And so there are some very particular things here that are going to be important to pay attention to, and I will call them out as they come up. So again, I'm going to assume that I'm making this test for my entire grade level, so I go to Master Template, and then to the Template. Scroll down to Assignments and click edit. So let's say this time I am making a new test. And so you make sure you want to make sure that you click test if you are making a test. Some of these parameters will be different. And let's just pretend I'm going to make a fractions test. When I make a test, if it is a test that I even think maybe will take more than one day for students to complete, I want to go from the current date as the start date to like a week later as the due date. Now the reason is for this because at what Alex will do is if I left this as September 25th at 11.59 p.m., when that time strikes, whether a student is done with the exam or not, it is going to submit it. And then the student would have to go back in and do the quick retake of the exam. I'm setting this up so a student can just continue with the exam uh, wherever they left off. And so as with the assignment, I'm going to basically ignore everything up here, and I'm going to go to Standards. And so, uh, again, with my PLC, I would have worked through this about, hey, what am I going to include uh, in our fractions assessment? And you can see, again, if you click these, that you'll get a pop-up that would show you what type of question it would be. And so I've already decided personally that I would want, like, three of these fraction division um, two of these relationship ones. Um, modeling again in Alex tends to not be the best. Uh, I want a couple word problems. And then I want like three um, mixed number problems. So let's say that I'm happy with that. I've already previewed these uh, problem types and I know that's exactly what I want on the test. I'm going to hit continue, and you will see now that these menu items are different than they were on the uh, assignment. And so again up here it's enabled. What we actually want to do, and this is important item number one, you want to disable this test. And what's going to happen is when your class starts, you will come back in here and enable this test. I will show you how to do that. And so we can say students must take this assignment as soon as it is available, or we can let them choose when to start it. I will still go ahead and let them choose when to start it, because they'll log into Alex in my class, and then they can go to assignments up here in the upper left, and they will find the assignment there. So going through this, I'm going to leave the rest of these pre presets the same. I don't want them to have access to an example or an explanation during an exam. I want them to have one attempt for now. And with retakes, we'll come back and I'll talk through how to make a retake available for students in there. We do not want a full retake. We want a quick retake. And so by default, exams will say full retake. We want to make sure to click quick retake. And then we want that to record the best score. We want Alex to assign partial credit for multi-part problems. And then enable letter grades, we want to make sure we take that off because we do not want students we're going to change the grade based on our grading scale and we don't want students to perceive that they got a certain thing. In my case, I'm going to apply these settings to all future assignments. That way I don't have to worry about clicking boxes when I create a test again. So if I say create assignment, now that's going to be available to students. The important piece. Remember that this was disabled. I'm going to click on the fractions test. And so like, let's say that I am Ebony Chavez Negrete and I'm getting ready to start my day. I'm going to go to myself. I'm going to go to my first period linked class. I'm going to look at my assignments. And right now this test is disabled. Students cannot see it. So I want to go to my first period class and I want to enable that exam. Now students, if I hit, come down here and hit save, will be able to see the exam and they'll be able to work on it. At the end of class, it is very important 
that I go in back in there and I disable this assignment at the end of class because this will prevent students from working on the test after they leave my class. We want to make sure that they only have access to the test during in the proctored environment. And there is a piece here for added security. We can require a password, but if we are enabling and disabling this at the beginning and end of each class, we, this will be not necessary because they will not be able to get into the test unless they are in the proctored environment. And again up here, this is open until October 2nd, so it's open for an entire week. Anytime I come back in here and re-enable the test, students will be able to get in and it will start them where they left off if they did not finish the test. Same thing for my future periods. Let's say that's the end of first period. I just disabled that one. Ebony's plan is second period, so we go to her third period. At the beginning of third period, I want to come here and enable the test. We hit save, and then it will appear for students. If you do not hit save, it will not appear for students. And another thing just to notice, I enabled this for third period. It's only going to enable it for third period. Fourth period should still say disabled for this assignment. And it does. So again, going back to third period, I give my students time to work during third period to take the test. Third period ends, I have to go in and click disable. Otherwise, and hit save. Otherwise, students will be able to work on the test outside of the proctored environment, which is not what we want.